All right, this is SAT prep. We're doing test one, section three, and this is number four. Kathy is a repair technician for a phone company. Each week, she receives a batch of phones that need repairs. The number of phones that she has left to fix at the end of each day can be estimated with the equation P equals 108 minus 23D, where P is the number of phones left and D is the number of days she has worked that week. Uh, what is the meaning of the value uh, 108 in this equation? Okay, so if she hasn't worked any days at all, right? So, so just let's look at this P. Uh, so I'm going to rewrite this in, in what's going to look a little bit more like slope intercept form. Okay, so I, I just shifted my order around, okay? So this negative 23 means that she can do 23 phones per day. Sorry, the pen's being all weird. Per day. Okay, and this is the starting number of phones, right? This is the starting number of phones. It's your y-intercept. So at the start of the week, she has 108 phones, right? And then she's able to clear 23 of them each day. So this, this is your slope, and this is your y-intercept. Uh, so Kathy starts each week with 108 phones to fix. That's the winner, right? So she doesn't, uh, she doesn't complete the pairs within 108 days. That, that wouldn't make sense, right? D is day, not the 108. Uh, she does not fix 108 phones per hour. That's 23 phones per hour. Uh, sorry, per, not hour, day. Uh, it should not be, oh, it should be per day. That's, that would be wrong anyway. So this is per day. I was correct. Uh, so, so this, this is a negative 20, uh, 23 phones per day, right? That's the slope. So it would not be 108. Um, this is just the wrong units. Sorry. That's why I was thrown for a sec, right? Um, and there's no way that the 108 has anything to do with days because days would be this D right here. So it's B, uh, it is the Y intercept value. Another way to logically see that if you're having trouble processing these word problems is see what happens if you plug a day in, right? So, um, if you, you could actually try this, right? You could say, uh, let's see what happens for A if I plug in D is day. If you plug 108 in for D, you're going to get a weird negative, like a large negative number of phones, which makes no sense. That would mean that she had fixed more phones than existed, right? Um, if you plugged in uh, starts each week, well, that would mean day zero. Well, if you plug in day zero, sure enough, you get 108, and that jives with what we saw, which is that at the start of each week, she starts with 108 phones. Um, and then again, this, this per hour per day, the per hour doesn't make sense just because it's completely the wrong units. Uh, and the 108 phones per day, there's an easy way to look at that too. You could say, okay, well, what if I put day one in, right? Let's say I put D as one in and I find a value and let's say I put D as two. Look at those two quantities. Did she fix 108 phones between those two days? And you'll find that the answer is no, she did not fix 108 phones, she fixed 23 phones. So it's answer B.